Hey you, my name is Thomas Tomscar Ridgewell, and boy do us YouTubers love complaining about the mainstream media. Well, I'm here to also complain about the mainstream media, because like people always say, if it ain't fixed, break it some more. It's fairly safe to say that a vast majority of mainstream media, be it print journalism, radio, or television, has an issue with us YouTubers. And in theory, it's not an entirely unjustified issue. A lot of us are young, lucky, and quite frankly, beautiful. We've been granted a lot of power and privilege in exchange for a relatively small amount of time and money. Also, some of us are just pricks. But having done this job for years, I've had time to pick up my own grievances with the media. So it's my turn to turn the turntables. Here are my three biggest issues with the mainstream slash traditional media. Let's stoke the fire. Number one, their obsession with our finances. I get it, they're appealing to an older audience who don't necessarily understand how our industry works. But do they make an effort to explain our industry? Do they fuck? I have been suckered into dozens of interviews, some lasting over an hour, in which I will explain in detail how and why everything works the way it does. But the finished product of that interview almost always looks exactly like this. I'm here with YouTube star Thomas Tomsky Ridgewell. So Todd, how does it all work? Well, I make money and the way that works is YouTube. Yeah. So basically you get paid thousands of pounds to make silly videos in your bedroom. Uh, yes, that's true. Yeah. Wow. How truly unfair is that? Look, I get why people think it's weird that this is even a possibility, but think of it like this. Why after doing the same thing for five, 10, or in my case, 15 years, should it be surprising that I figured out how to make money off of it? From now on, when journalists ask how much money I make, I'm just gonna ask them how much money they make and see how they like it. Spoiler alert, they don't like it. I've done it a few times, actually. Number two. Now, as I've mentioned before, there are plenty legitimate reasons to criticize YouTubers. Like any industry, ours is rife with scandals, lawsuits, scams, sexual abuse. But these are so rarely the issues that get used to attack us. Instead, we get these bitter, rambling, anti-millennial hit pieces that just boil down to, Wah, I don't like this and I'm old, so it must be bad. That's what you sound like. And that's also what I sound like. Oh god, I've become the mainstream media! Wah! The angle taken by mainstream media journalists so often is that because they don't like something, it must be wrong. And to be fair, a lot of the shit churned out by YouTubers is... Shit, but, and this is a very important but, you can't claim that nobody cares what's in Zoella's bag when her videos still get millions of views. People care! for some reason. This sort of non-constructive complaining that just ignores the reality of the world we live in is just sad. It spreads anger and resentment for the sake of it. If you want to slam us, do so when we deserve it, but also maybe acknowledge the good work that gets done every once in a while. You bitter old fucks. Number three, you'd think that with the amount that YouTubers get called narcissists and egomaniacs that the media would be a fairly humble entity, but you would be so very, very wrong. Their sense of superiority is unparalleled, going as far as to expect hours and hours of free labor just for the honor of working with them. Senpai noticed me. No. No. I have wasted so many hours of my life in meetings with traditional media outlets who I thought wanted me to work for or with them because they knew I was good at what I do. But no, 99% of the time it's just because I get the numbers and they want those numbers. And that would be fine were it not for the fact that they also expected me to work for free and for the exposure. Think about that for a second. They approach us because we are getting better numbers than them, at least online, and we're making a decent living off of it and they think that we need them. Now I get that our social media pull has an appeal, but we got that pull for a reason and it wasn't luck. Maybe hire us for the reason, whatever it may be. When I was approached by BBC Comedy to make a batch of sketches, I actually felt respected as a writer and director, even if I was a little out of my depth and I was paid for my time. Sure, it was my success on YouTube that got me through the door, but it was acknowledged that I had succeeded for a reason. That was classy. Thank you. Mwah. <laughs> well, those are my thoughts. These days, I try to avoid just throwing more negativity into the world, but in this instance, I just couldn't resist. To the handful of journalists out there who write respectful and accurate pieces about YouTubers, the ones who realize that our mere existence is not a threat to them, and the media higher-ups that give us a chance to prove ourselves on a larger scale, this video was decidedly not about you. You are cool. Thank you for your support. Please, God, call me. Tom Scott, out.